hello and welcome to my youtube channel in today's episode i'm going to talk about how to deposit money to your derive account and your derive meta to the five account using perfect money e-wallet well there are so many ways you can deposit money to your derive account you can use your bank card you can use bitcoin you can use other wallets but in this video i'm going to specify on how to deposit using the perfect money e-wallet in case you don't know what perfect money e-wallet is all about or how to create a perfect money e-wallet account i dropped a link to a video on the description of this video click on it and watch the video where i talked about how to create perfect money e-wallet account and how to fund your perfect money e-wallet account here currently as at the time i was recording this video in nigeria you cannot use your bank card to make international transaction above hundred dollars per month but with perfect money you can deposit as much money as you want a lot of people do ask me i've been trying to deposit with my bank card i try to deposit 200 300 500 but it keeps declining the reason is because in nigeria if you're in nigeria i don't know if you're in any other country you can ask your bank you know but in nigeria currently since the pandemic hit so the limit on international transaction per month using your naira bank card is hundred dollars except you're using your domiciliary account you can with your if you have a domiciliary account and you're in nigeria you can deposit as much money as you want so, but if you're using an IRA card, you can deposit more than hundred dollars. So, if you want to deposit more than hundred dollars, I will recommend you use Perfect Money e-wallet. So, let me show you how you can deposit fund using this Perfect Money e-wallet to your Derive account and your Derive Meta Trader Five account. So, let's go. Now, I've logged into the Derive platform. The first thing you need to do to be able to deposit money on your Derive account is to first of all open. A real derive account if you're yet to open a real derive account I'll show you how you can do that so to open a real derive account what you just do is you click on this drop-down button here once you do that uh, you see this page will appear here is your demo and here is your ray so you're going to click on this ray here so once you do that you see another page you see this page uh, then you click on add here now well, this is real derive account that's what we're trying to create so you add so you click on add then uh, they'll ask you the fiat currency you want your account to domicile in i'll recommend you use the us dollar currency so you click on it so i'm going to click on this us dollar uh, currency so once you click on it then you click on next then when you click on next then you fill out this form you put in your first name your last name your date of birth your phone number here then after that you click proceed so I will do that now so I'm done filling in the information so I'll click next Now this other page will appear here you fill in your first line of address second line of address your city and your state of province note the one with asterisk the one with asterisk is important the one without asterisk you can leave it vacant so let me fill it up I'm done filling out the information what I'll just do is you click next. What you do is you click next. The next page is this. Uh, then the next page, what you just do is you scroll down. You tick these two boxes here. Once you tick these two boxes here, then you click the add account. So let me do that. I'll tick, I'll tick, then I'll click add account. Then the next page, if your account creation is successful, is this. You see your account here is ready. So what you do is, after creating that account, you can quickly click on deposit now. 
or you can click or maybe later if you want to deposit immediately you click the deposit now but if you want to deposit later you can maybe later so let me click on maybe later it will take me back to the drift platform so if you look here you see i have 0.00 us dollars so that is to say this is my real account so if i want to practice i can easily switch to my demo and to switch to my demo you click on the drop icon beside the amount so once you click on the drop icon you see here here is highlighted which is my real account and what i have here is zero us dollar because i've not made any deposit then if you want to switch over to demo you just click on this demo here to switch over to demo since you want to deposit real money and make real money so let's go and deposit for you to deposit you need to make sure that your account is not on demo is on real and currently we are on real account so if it's not on real account you switch it to real account by just clicking real real first and then clicking the us dollar second now let me show you how to make deposit on your derive but before i do that i like the dark mode so i'll switch this uh, interface to a dark mode to change it to a dark mode what you just do is you click on this menu icon here once you do that you will see a uh, dark mode team here and there's a button here so you just tick the button so now on dark mode let's proceed the first thing you need to do for you to deposit on your derive account is to first of all switch to a real account if you look closely you see the d here meaning that is on demo so i'll switch to my real account by clicking on this drop down icon here once i do that i'll click on the real account i'll done that then i'll click on the dollar account here so once i do that now i'm on the real account it's to deposit fund into your account the first thing you need to do is to click on the menu icon there once you do that you click on cashier here and when you click on cashier you see deposit here so you click on deposit and uh, wait for it to load now if you look closely you see different deposit options these two here above it as you can see there is no uh, write up beneath it is the two deposit options i've used to make deposit to my trading platform so if you open yours what you see is card and uh, debit card here yeah? you see perfect money you see scroll you see net teller you see uh, the jaton wallet you see web money and so many other wallets that you can use to make deposit but i'm going to show you how to deposit with perfect money so what you do is you click on perfect money so you click on perfect money know that you must have fund in your perfect money before you can be able to deposit to your account from your perfect money e-wallet i'll just go ahead and click on perfect money now you impute the amount you want to deposit so i'll impute twenty dollars twenty dollars then you click on next if by any chance you click the continue button and it takes you to a blank page and it takes you to a blank page what you do is you change the browser the browser i'm using to do this is chrome on my phone so if you click the continue button and it takes you to a blank page just change the browser and the problem will be solved so i'll click continue now now it will take you to a page where you complete the payment process at this point i'll recommend you change your settings to desktop view if you're using a smartphone if you don't change your setting to a desktop view at the end the process will not be successful so to change it to a desktop view i mean this is a chrome browser so to change it to a desktop view what you just do is you click on that red button there uh, once you do that you click on 
desktop uh, computer you, uh, you, you click you tick the box just uh, the same line with the desktop computer site so once you tick the box I'll tick the box now then this message will come up you just click continue so you click continue so now this is the desktop view though the display is same what is important to do that if you look at it it's already highlighted if you go back to this already highlighted as you can see somewhere here so, so this is the desktop view if you don't take that desktop view this process might not go successful so that you must do before you proceed now here so the next thing you do is to click make payment so i'll click make payment now what you do here is what you just do is you put in your member id here your perfect money member id and your password here and once you do that you type in this number here you type it inside this box here then once you type it inside the box then you click preview payment so i'll put in my uh, information now okay i'm done imputing my uh, information so i'll just click on preview payment there so uh, perfect money will send you an email to be sure you're the one making that transaction so what you do is log in your email copy the code they sent to you and input it here and then after that you click the continue button there so i'll check my email now okay then you scroll down and copy the pin here this is the pin there so you copy it i'll just highlight and click copy then you go back to the page and then paste it there Right and paste it after that you click on the continue button beside it so the next page is this amount make sure you have an extra amount on your perfect money account to cover the service charges or the payment fee they are going to charge which is 1.99 percent almost two percent of whatever your amount you're going to deposit so if you're depositing hundred dollars make sure you have extra two dollars for the payment fee so if you want to deposit hundred dollars make sure you have like hundred and two dollars in your perfect money account so that when you deposit hundred dollars the remaining two dollars can go for commission so if you don't have enough money to cover up the commission the payment might not go through if you look here you see a total amount you're going to pay so because i'm depositing twenty dollars i'm going to pay twenty dollars thirty nine cent that thirty nine cent is the commission perfect money is going to collect for the transaction so i think i have if you look at here i have more than this amount on my perfect money this is what i have on my perfect money so i'm good to go so after that just click on confirm payment here then you see here payment completed you see payment completed that is to say your payment is successful so what you just do is you click on the continue button there so transaction approved so i'm going to go back to my trading platform to confirm if this payment has reflected in my trading account i had 99 dollars there before let's see how much i have there now then this is where i saved the icon the derive icon here yeah? so i'll just click on it okay as you can see here i had 99 dollars there and uh, the payment was immediate so I've been created twenty dollars. It's now hundred and nineteen dollars. So this is how to deposit money on your Deriv account through Perfect Money if you're using your smartphone. So to withdraw from your Deriv account, what you do is 
first you click on the menu icon there once you do that the next thing you do is you click on cashier here now after that on the next page that will appear click on withdraw so when you click on withdraw it will this page will appear which will ask you verify my request so what you do is you click on verify my request when you click on verify my request they'll send you an email it's on the email they sent to you is where you complete the withdrawal process that way they will be sure you are actually the one making the withdrawal so i'll click on verify my request now I'll log into my email and check if they have sent the mail. So I'll scroll down. I think they have sent the mail. So I'll just um, open the mail. When you open the mail, click on yes, it's me button. So once you do that, it will take you to a page where you complete the withdrawal process. So this page will appear you see i have the option to withdraw using using my bank card and perfect money why these two options are showing as my withdrawal option is because i've actually made deposit with this deposit methods so if i hadn't made deposit with perfect money you won't see perfect money as my withdrawal option so if you don't make deposit first with perfect money, you will see perfect money as a withdrawal option. If you, if you didn't make deposit with your bank card, you will not see your bank card as a withdrawal option. I'm going to use perfect money. I'll type in the amount I want to withdraw. So let me type $21. Then you click on the perfect money logo there. So the next page that will appear is this. You put in your perfect money USD account number. This is actually perfect money USD account number. It starts with you. So if you have a perfect money wallet, you should know how, how to get this number from. If you don't have and you want to create yeah, you want to create a wallet there's a link I dropped on the description of this video you click on it and you watch the video where I explained how you can open and make deposit on your perfect money e-wallet and here you're required to impute something like a comment or instructions but normally I leave it blank because it's not compulsory it won't stop your money from reaching your account so i'll just go ahead and click on the request payout so i click on request payout then at this point they will send you an email to tell you if your payout has been received so i'll check my mail now i think on my mail you see that request for withdrawal received $21 so what you just need to do is to relax and wait for your phone to reach your perfect money e-wallet it takes between 30 minutes 30 minutes to 6 hours for me to receive my phone to my wallet so thanks for watching if this video was helpful don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel if you're new to this channel